Chapter 1, Lesson 4, Ratio Tables. You will be able to use ratio tables to represent and solve problems involving equivalent ratios. A ratio table is a table with its columns filled with pairs of numbers that have the same ratio. Equivalent ratios express the same relationship between quantities. The ratios 1 3rd, 2 6 and 3 ninths are equivalent since each simplifies to a ratio of 1 to 3. To make yellow icing, you mix 6 drops of yellow food coloring with 1 cup of white icing. How much yellow food coloring should you mix with 5 cups of white icing to get the same shade? So we're going to take the information we have and fill it into the first column of the chart. We have six drops of yellow food coloring and one cup of icing. Now let's fill in what we need to find. We want to know how many drops of yellow food coloring we need for five cups of white icing. So we're going to put five here. And we think to ourselves, how do I get from 1 to 5? Well, you multiply by 5. So you do the same in the other row. 6 times 5 is 30. So how much yellow food, color, yellow food coloring do you need? You need 30 drops. Make sure you answer the question and not just fill in the table. In a recent letter B, in a recent year, Joey Chestnut won a hot dog eating contest by eating nearly 66 hot dogs in 12 minutes. If he ate at a constant rate, determine about how many hot dogs he ate every two minutes. So start with what we know: 66 hot dogs in 12 minutes. We want to find two minutes. How do we get from 12 to 2? We divide by 6. Do the same above. 66 divided by 6 is 11. So he ate 11 hot dogs in 2 minutes. Letter C. A patient receives 1 liter of IV fluids every 8 hours. At that rate, find how many hours it will take to receive 4 liters of IV fluid. So we have 1 liter of IV fluid for 8 hours. We want to know how long it will take to reach, to take to receive 4 liters of IV fluid. To get from 1 to 4, we multiply by 4, and we do the same underneath, and get 32. So it will take 32 hours. And if you forget the units, you can just look at the label of the row. Letter D. To make cranberry jam, you need 12 cups of sugar for every 16 cups of cranberries. Find the amount of sugar needed for 4 cups of cranberries. So 12 cups of sugar. 16 cups of cranberries and we want to find for 4 cups of cranberries and look at the labels that'll tell you which row to put the numbers in. How do we get from 16 to 4? We divide by 4. Do the same above. 12 divided by 4 is 3. So how many cups of sugar? 3 cups of sugar. Multiplying or dividing two related quantities by the same number is called scaling. Sometimes you may need to scale back and then scale forward to find an equivalent ratio. For example, letter A. Cans of corn are on sale at 10 for $4. So 10 cans of corn for $4. Find the cost of 15 cans. What I want you to do now is use the last column, 15. 
we need to get from 10 to 15. But 10 times no whole number will give you 15. But if you look at 10 and 15, try and find the greatest common factor they have. So let's take a look. 10 is 5 and 2. 15 is 3 and 5. It looks like the greatest common factor is 5. So I'm going to put 5 in between. So our GCF is 5 and it's going in between the 10 and the 15. And go one step at a time. How did I get from 10 to 5? Well, you can divide by 2. Do the same underneath. 4 divided by 2 is 2. And then how do you get from 5 to 15? You times it by 3. Do the same. 2 times 3 is 6. So the cost is $6. Let's look at another one. Joe mows lawns during his summer vacation to earn money. He took 14 hours last week to mow eight lawns. At this rate, how many lawns could he mow in 49 hours? Again, put the 49 in the last column. It's talking about hours, so I know it goes in the hours row. We have the numbers 14 and 49, so I need to find the GCF and place it in between in that box. So 14 is 7 and 2, 49 is 7 and 7, which means the GCF is 7. So I know that 7 goes in this middle box. To get from 14 to 7, we divided by 2, so do the same underneath. 8 divided by 2 is 4. Then up top, to get from 7 to 49, we multiply by 7. So again, do the same underneath. 4 times 7 is 28. So how many lawns could he mow in 49 hours? 28 lawns. A child's height measures 105 centimeters. Estimate her height in inches. Okay. So a child's height is 105 centimeters. Then we have this conversion here, 10 inches and 25 centimeters. It's okay that you move left in your column as well as right. So we need to find a greatest common factor between 25 and 105. 25 is 5 times 5. 105, oops. Well, I know 5 goes into it. So 105 divided by 5 is 21. And I know I can break down 21 into 7 and 3. My greatest common factor, however, is 5. To get from 105 to 5, we divide. Oops, we have to go the other way. My mistake. Let's erase that. Okay. To get from 25 to 5, We divide by 5, so we're going to divide by 5 here to get 2. Then to get from 5 to 105, we actually multiplied by 21. So we're going to do the same here, times 21. 2 times 21 is 42. So approximately 42 inches. Letter D. On her vacation, Leah exchanged $50 American and received $60 Canadian. 
use a ratio table to find how many Canadian dollars she would receive for 20 American. So let's find the GCF between 50 and 20. 50 is 10 times 5, and 10 is 2 times 5. 20 is 10 times 2, and 10 is 2 times 5. So we have a 5 and a 2 to get our GCF, multiply them together, and we get a GCF of 10. So I know that 10 will be the middle number. How do we get from 50 to 10? We divide by 5. Do the same up top. 60 divided by 5 is 12. To get from 10 to 20, we times 2. Do the same. 12 times 2 is 24. So she would get $24 Canadian.